Hello and a very warm welcome to all the viewers of Crypto TV. This is Manoj Dara. So let's have a look at the top headlines of this evening. Delay in adopting crypto may increase brain drain from India, industry players say. Coinbase chief Armstrong questions shadow ban on India's crypto trading. U.S. Labor Department concerned over Fidelity's Bitcoin 401k plan. Cryptocurrencies fall on weak risk appetite. Bitcoin slips below $39,000. Panama passes bill to permit use of crypto assets. Terra's Luna tumbles. Why this could be the bad for the UST stablecoin? According to reports, NFT sector to move. $800 billion over the next two years. So let's have a look at these headlines in details. During a recent discussions with students and professor at Stanford University in California, Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman stated that India will not rush into any decisions on crypto and will instead adopt a cautious approach. Business leaders, however, believe that the delay is prolonging India's chances of becoming a key player in the crypto industry leading to the exodus of the domestic talent to crypto-friendly countries, reported by Economic Times. In response to parliamentary inquiry on economic crimes, the administration stated it could include legislation to allow crypto assets to be confiscated and recovered more rapidly as soon as parliamentary time permits. Market participants believe that this is extremely important to have a blanket approach as India might see a severe exodus of talent as the Indian government has not yet clarified its stance on where the cryptocurrencies should be regulated or be banned. Brain Armstrong, the co-founder and CEO of Nasdaq-listed cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase, has questioned the Reserve Bank of India and the National Payment Cooperation of India's informal restrictions on crypto trading, claiming that they may be in violation of Supreme Court ruling. In 2020 order, the Supreme Court overturned a 2018 RBI circular prohibiting banks from allowing customers to utilize their accounts to transfer or to receive funds for cryptocurrency trading. Tough questions and a good questions for NPCI and RBI in India. Is there a shadow ban, a violation of the Supreme Court ruling? Armstrong tweeted on Tuesday. Several banks have disabled UPI options for crypto-related payments following verbal instructions from the NPCI. U.S. Labor Department, which regulates company-sponsored retirement plans, has expressed concern over Fidelity Investments' plan to allow for inclusion of the Bitcoin in its operated 401k accounts, according to reports. Ali Khawar, Acting Assistant Secretary of the Employee Benefit Security Administration, expressed his concern to a publication on Fidelity's move. While highlighting the speculative nature of cryptocurrencies and the hype, the fear of missing out, the Fidelity announced earlier in the week that it plans to offer Bitcoin as an investment option for its 401k managed accounts. The financial giant manages retirement accounts for 23,000 companies in the United States of America. Cryptocurrencies tumbled on Friday in anticipation of lower opening of US stocks. Weighed by decline in technology sector after Amazon.com posted its first quarterly loss in seven years. Bitcoin traded below $39,000. Amazon posted its loss a result that reflected broader economic trends related to a slump in online shopping, higher costs from inflations, and supply chain woos. Futures at the S&P 500 fell 1% on Friday. Contracts for the tech-focused Nasdaq 100 slipped 1.3% and futures for the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 0.2%. The moves mark a reversal from the Thursday when technology shares led gains as investors shared a solid earnings report from Meta platforms. Data suggests over $260 million worth of orders on various cryptocurrencies were liquidated amid heightened volatility. Trading in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is expected to remain volatile ahead of almost $2 billion worth of option expiry. Bitcoin was recently trading at around $38,800 down over 1.5% in the last 24 hours. Ether, the second biggest cryptocurrency, traded around $2,800 lower by nearly 2% in the same time span. Other major altcoins also fell. 
lawmakers in Panama's National Assembly on Thursday approved a bill to regulate the use and commercialization of crypto assets in the Central American country renowned as the hub of offshore financial services. Panama, which is stopping the European Union's list of tax havens, said the bill will cover trading and the use of crypto assets, issuance of digital securities, new payment systems and the tokenization of previous metals. The bill opens the door to private and public use of crypto assets and will make it possible for people to pay their taxes with cryptocurrencies. Under the new legislation, Panamians will use crypto assets as means of payment for any civil or commercial operations not prohibited by the law in the country. Market participants believe that such move could heighten Panama's reputation as a place lacking financial transparency. Terra's native token Luna has dropped more than 10% in the previous 7 trading sessions, making it one of the worst performing tokens among the top 10 that have fallen, following a broader decline in the cryptocurrency market. Market participants attribute the wider losses to concerns that the United States may be entering into another recession at a time when Federal Reserve's recently raised interest rates for the first time since 2018 and predicted that the rates may rise to 2.5% by the end of 2022. Luna's recent losses have affected the reserves Terra maintains for its stablecoin UST. Data from Luna Foundation Guard, that is LFG, showed Luna makes up about 7% of the reserve's value, which is otherwise dominated by Bitcoin. A decline in the value of reserves means the UST stablecoin has fewer buffers protecting it against price shocks. This, in turn, could be a determinant towards the token stability. Luna fell 4.6% in the past 24 hours to a 9-day low at $85.59. It has also lost nearly 9% in past 7 days, according to a data from CoinMarketCap. Still, the token is up 400% from where it was a year ago. According to a report by CoinGecko, the NFT market is expected to move more than $800 billion in the coming two years. The report, which mostly comprised investors from Asia and the Pacific, bought to four than 871 respondents. Around 72% of them already own NFTs, with more than 50% of them declaring they have more than 5 -0. While the bulk of NFT market appeared to be concentrated in popular collections such as Board Ape Yacht Club and CryptoPunks, 35.8% of the respondents said they were interested in NFT links to play to earn metaverse games, and 25% stated they prefer art NFTs. The report highlighted that the metaverse sector is projected to move $800 billion over the next two years, and the gaming appears to be the most likely entry point into the NFT markets. That's all it is in today's evening bulletin. This is Manoj Dara signing off. Stay tuned and watch Crypto TV. Thank you so much.